pretty crazy down in, in that mid lane and you want to really try and see if you can shut down Aurelian Soul, it is going to be the Orn top lane. Yeah, if Zataya is in the lineup, uh, top lane sub, they could not bring for Fnatic to keep track of Kassa's level. Bot lane might cancel a recall and this Vladimir is here. Oh, Xiaohu shows up at just the right time. You couldn't have done that better. Yes, over his opponent. Xiaohu's in a wonderful spot. The man's never going to shop, apparently. He's a madman sitting on 2,050 gold. Started with the boots and the refillable. Never gone back to base, and another reason why. Opening up a nice CS lead over his opponent. It's the Empowered Transfusion down to size to throw out the Hemo play. Going to be ignited. He could very well burn away from oh, this Xiaohu. With a questionable play there. Yeah, that was a very easy kill for Captain. He can go straight to top lane. He's offside now. Whippo taken down to 200 HP. Let me no level six available. This is critical. Broxa does have ultimate. Let me now just finds himself onto the ultimate, but they grab the kill anyway. Broxa doesn't even need the thing, but not. Surely that was a misclick to flash that way for Cap, but in the end he actually stays alive. Camille is coming bot lane. TP bottom side. Can Whippo find what he's looking for here? Issues the ultimatum on to Ming, and that seals his fate. Reckless grabs the kill as Whippo wants to make it to Uzi. Way out for the Tom Kench. The extra dive was never going to lead to a kill, but we return to live and see that nine minutes. Still has flash available here as well. Not going to go for it. He knows Broxa is right there. Cap's coming up now as well. And Fnatic, four men strong in the top side means that RNG gets Drake on the other side of the map, but the push will now continue. Still looking to find this kill on the Xiaohu. Whippo taken low, the Ignite continuing to burn him away. He may just still go down, he will. The pull on to Xiaohu will not find the kill yet. Caps has to use the ulti to do it. It's one for three times over the course of the regular spring split in 2018. Got two wins and a single loss. Now Cap's gonna be ganked in the mid lane though. It's Karsa showing up, looking to make this one happen. The ulti brings him right back into the turret. The Hemoplex already down and they are gonna cash in. That dragon should be Vladimir Food here in only a moment. The Sangle pool to shut him down. Broxa wants to try to make this a one for one. Grabs the stun now down onto his opponent. Manages to chain it into the ultimate. Excellent use of CC. And then he a ton of hard engage and a Vladimir. So Fnatic needs to get ahead, not trade. Well, let's see if the snowball can come in here in the bottom lane. Let me collapse on the damage comes through. Karst is not there in time to make the save. Xiaohu coming around through the tribe rush here now. Fnatic needs to back themselves away. Fenner in the mid lane. Turret very, very low. So I think you got the number there, Flowers. But the top lane turret, that one's gonna go down. Shelly got that turret in the mid lane to 200 HP. Okay. Just barely misses out on taking that one off the map. We'll see Fnatic surely take that down rather soon. Only a couple of auto attacks should do it. Caps will get that right here. Put some more money in Fnatic pockets. Somehow, the question of live or replay that Twitch chat always likes to talk about. Here, the LPL representatives, Fnatic, want to stop this. Car set down to about half HP. Or it all comes through. Caps going to be knocked up into the air. Brox is still getting himself away. Skarner at full HP. Drake down to half. Broxen maintaining his position right on top of this. Skarner's fire is going to be captured. That could be pretty big. Got it. It's still going to be RNG who takes the objective away. Broxen having a flash out, looking to keep himself alive. Chow, who on the front line, able to find some damage, goes into the pool. RNG hiding themselves back now. It's Fnatic on the offensive. RNG trying to escape as Whippo goes off to the side, able to issue the ultimate and find the damage down onto the sack. Let me drop to Reckless, and Fnatic have found the fight. How much further will they take the momentum on this one? Broxen goes on a killing spree, grabbing the damage. Now down onto Karsa, two dead on the side of RNG. Can Fnatic find any more? Reckless still looking oh, for it. Caps and Caps wants to make the play on the flank. Sangle pull from Xiaohu. Gets gobbled up by Ming. Gonna be safe for now. Still He's gonna live. himself away. So really is like, he will get in the back line, but does he have enough damage this early on in the game to burn through the Janus shield and a monsoon around? Brox is on his way. Let me should not be chasing out for any kills here. Let me has already charged in. Doesn't get hit by the stun. Caps tries to get himself away from this one, but the counterattack comes out, and that's Caps caught out and beaten down. Throws out the voice of light. Still not going to be enough, and Xiao Hu takes the gold. Oh, Fnatic's still okay. with the Drake that RNG has. That'll even up the move speed count between the teams. But it's like you said, Papa Smithy, going into this game, you wanted to see them be able to get far enough ahead. He's averaging 12 and a half CS a minute right now, just hanging out and farming. Whippo pushing down the bottom lane, takes out the tier two. And that is the counter point, is that Whippo. Members of RNG occupied, while Reckless, Broxa, and Caps do everything they can to burn this down. They've already got it down to about half, as the fight will continue over off the side. Whippo having to issue the ultimatum, trying to get himself away. He will fall, and the RNG counterattack begins. Into the pit goes Karsa, Baron gonna be taken down below 1,000 HP! And Karsa steals away, Fnatic! Finds disaster! As let me grab the kill onto Reckless, Uzi grabs the kill onto Broxa! Fnatic have already lost down for RNG's sake, but they've got the push already mounting here in the mid lane. Hillisang still trying to run away. The knockup not gonna find the mark. 
Here comes Tom Ketch. Pun Lash out of the shrubbery. The knockback from Hillisang wants to flash over the wall, gets devoured up instead, and Mink grabs the kill while mid lane the tier two falls to the siege. The acid test, the breaking point of this game was good fanatic. And sadly now, the chief amount of momentum at 30 minutes. Yeah, we kept giving them more chances. To the lane of Wimbo, but he realized, okay, nothing is happening. And RNG, of course, with the Baron buff, can just push straight down to base. Yeah, we call this a piggyback strategy in the LCK, where you bring your mid lane and try to crash it a turret and inhibitor as the enemy goes, but with Caitlyn uh, going for a siege, you can see already a lot of damage done to that turret. Bottom side, Whippo gets collapsed on. Let me and Xiao Hu working together to burn him away on that it's side lane threat. Now. It's now Fnatic looking to make the play onto the remaining members of RNG, but TP comes in, Karsa still looking to make the play, tries to use the ulti, instead gonna be ulted back by Broxa. The Bloblets are in place, they're in the middle of the team, and Reckless grabs the kill onto that enemy. Uzi. Oh, Uzi. Barely kept alive by me. They can chase though, Reckless Red Buff. Reckless does manage to find himself a double, wants to make it a triple. Broxley gets the chilling smite down. Uzi tries to get himself away from Got this, but more damage coming in from Reckless. Wants to go forward a little bit further, needs another arcane shift into a mystic shot. And the triple kill for the AD carry. RNG sent back their mid laner to kill Whipple. Suddenly, there are three members only of RNG pushing for that top lane in him. And Fnatic, they realize they just charge straight at the first communication lapse in the series also for Karsa, who goes in to buy time. Hitting the turrets. Let's see if RNG can hold. It's the mid lane inhibitor turret that finds itself dropping very rapidly and already disintegrated. Now by the side of Fnatic, the Ornold if it comes through, finds its way on a multiple members. Hillisang knocked up into the air, immediately killed. Cats tries to escape. Little by little, they whittle away at the health. The redemption comes through, but the Zonias is going to block it. A double kill over to the side of Xiao Hu as Let Me continues to hold the line against Whippo. He wants to get in, take down that inhibitor turret, go for the inhibitors themselves. Whippo's trying to provide a threat, but RNG is pushing straight to the base instead. All they need is for Let Me to hold the line here at the Nexus. Broxa wants to try to defend the base. It's a big push from RNG coming through the middle lane. They've got one minion, and if they protect it, the backdoor bonuses will not be available. RNG down the mid lane, have the turret already going for the inhibitor itself. Uzi putting the auto attacks into this one should be able to find it. Whippo getting himself back from that bottom side. And they get the two for one special here, Flowers. That's the question they packed up, ignored. The Camille taking down one inhibitor. They get the turret, but they don't. Can stop the bound and look for a team fight. RNG know they have to go right now. They're down with the teleport advantage. It's Karsa going in, looking to engage right on the enemy team. Brox is already going to be taken down. No, it's Mike Skinner now. RNG, Mike's going to make something happen. Whippo split pushing into the bottom lane now as well. RNG need to finish this one off. They need to do it rapidly. Secured by Uzi of all people. And now they look to see what else we can find. Baron Buffs trying to be used. Whippo on an extra turret. Able to find one, looking to find two. RNG has to get back. Turret's going to be taken very low. Whippo still trying to escape. Gets himself out with a hook. If Shao Hu can do the same, that could end Fnatic's win condition. But now they found the collapse on that very same pick. Shao Hu nearly going to be dropped down. Does keep himself alive just barely. But it's a big pick. Dropping RNG with the counterattack. That's Uzi free firing. Remember, six items on both lady carries. Go for the base. to go for the base. He wants to end this game. Can he find it? No minions in the base just yet. Cap will come around and help him. Uzi is here. Plenty of damage available for this. Caitlyn, let me flashing forward, grabbing the knock up down onto Whippo. GA is going to be procced. And that is huge. Caitlyn so good against Guardian Angels. You proc the trap, you prime it up, you shoot him down. Uzi's got a critical match there, right onto it. the Elder Drake. RNG now again, having yet another problem to answer. Fnatic is so high tempo, but Karina will again spike the objective away. Plus, Elder Drake makes this RNG squad incredibly intimidating. One inhibitor down now, moving towards the top lane to find number two. Five men strong. Xiao Hu hanging out around behind everyone else. He could come in on that flank very easily. Two inhibitors down now for RNG. Be a mistake to contest this 5v5, in my opinion, especially with the buffs rolled in to muddy the waters further. They need to recreate a split push once again. But that split push is a teleport cooldown and maybe even a Guardian Angel away from Whipper. RNG continue the push down the mid lane, trying to siege up this Nexus and end this game. Nexus turret number one, already shot down by Uzi. Fnatic have to make the call on where, when, how they want to defend this, because time will run out if they don't. RNG waiting on those minion waves from both top and middle to come with them so they can continue this push. Caps moves forward. 
Rolling chance from the Parisian crowd. Where's the Alamo? Seems to be this turret. Brox are going to be interrupted now. Brox are dragging Carsa right back into the fight. Carsa trying to find the ulti, bringing Brox right back into the lines of RNG. Can they find the damage? Brox are barely going to be getting himself away. Carsa takes Who's the ulti, brought down. Barely goes down. Has to resurrect from the GA. Fnatic are going to hold the line for now. Brox drops first. Shao who got the kill on that one. He should fall here. Reckless nearly brought down. Not going to be Hillisang with the flash to keep the AD carry alive. But RNG is just too much. Five man strong. Still in the base. They'll take down Fnatic for a second time. Hillisang falls in the fountain. Whipple can't do it. And RNG will take us to match point. RNG's late game. They're team fighting. It's too much for Fnatic at the moment. That Baron play. We got to go back to 28 minutes. Fnatic had the lead. They were setting up. They were ready with a split pusher in the side lane. They were ready to execute a Baron, and Casa steals it. And suddenly, RNG starts winning. Fnatic's strong early game is getting them so near, but not far enough to get safe Barons. And then the team fighting coming through from RNG, as we all know, is too much in the late game.